chances are that you or someone close to you has been treated for breast cancer or lymphoma. And you probably already know that cancer treatments like chemotherapy and radiation are getting much better at increasing our chance of recovery. But did you also know that some of these therapies can increase our risk of another major disease? The fact is one in 10 cancer patients, that's an incredible one million people every year, will survive their cancer only to die of cardiovascular disease, even years after their cancer therapy has ended. But the good news is that we can now detect your heart's subtle warning signs earlier than ever. And then doctors can take action to prevent those changes from ever causing symptoms. But how do we do that? Well, we need to scan your heart's ventricles. These are the powerful chambers responsible for pumping blood out of your heart. And that's where the cancer drugs can affect the heart's cells. It's something we call cardiotoxicity, and it's part of a relatively new field of medicine called cardio-oncology. So far, the most common test for cardiotoxicity is a long and complex ultrasound exam. It's a scan to get a baseline of the strain on your heart before you start treatment, which we then have to repeat every three months to track if there's any changes. But here's the thing. Your scan, it has to be super precise each time. But because ultrasound is so dependent on technique, often your strain score changes based on who's performing it. In fact, performing this scan can be so tricky that we imaging experts sometimes call it strain on the brain. None of this is good news at a time when there's a global shortage of experienced imagers, people like sonographers and ultrasound technologists, cardiologists that perform these scans. And these time-consuming, difficult scans, well, they're putting a lot of extra pressure on our already overburdened healthcare systems. What we really need is a fast, a simple, a reproducible test, a test that quite literally takes the strain off of your imager. And that is where AI comes in. Using artificial intelligence, Philips engineers have been able to automate and accelerate the way ultrasound measures our heart function. And that means we can get an earlier, more accurate sense of whether cancer treatment is damaging your heart. In just a few clicks, your sonographer gets the precise ventricular wall measurements that they need. It's so quick and simple that even those with less experience can use it, meaning there's less burden on imaging staff and more patients can get access to this vital test. And if your heart does show the first hints of cardiotoxicity, your doctor can adjust your treatment right away before symptoms like heart failure develop preventing heart damage, taking the strain off of healthcare professionals, helping us put the heart into cancer care, and getting more cancer patients back to living the lives they love. And now, you're in the nut.